Good morning, friends. Welcome to November 15th, hunting day. Bart Baker starts us with, God is so good. Wednesday's devotions found in the Upper Room Discipline, written by Shaniqua Walker Barnes. And our scripture reading is Psalm 123. To you lay, lift up my eyes, O you who are enthroned in the heavens. As the eyes of the servants look to the hand of their master, as the eyes of a maid to the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he has mercy upon us. Have mercy upon us, O Lord, have mercy upon us, for we have had more than enough of contempt. Our soul has had more than its fill of the scorn of those who are at ease, of the contempt of the proud. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. I raise my eyes to you, you who rule heaven. Immediately, the author thinks of the climatic scene in Zora Neale Hurston's Their Eyes Were Watching God. Janie and her lover T. Cake and their friends have regrettably decided to wait out a hurricane, and in the early hours of the storm, they partied intoxicated with feelings of invisibility. The confidence faded with the light. By night, they were huddled in darkness, feeling the storm's rage, powerless to do anything except to watch for God. But that second verse, the hierarchical language of servants attending to their masters and mistresses' hands, hit different in a 21st century context that values equality and shared power. At best, it evokes the image of a kindly patriarch patting someone like a beloved pet. At worst, it evokes the cultural trauma of enslaved ancestors fearfully watching the hands of their enslavers ready to receive abuse those hands wielded oppressive power. The psalmist writes on behalf of a people who know oppressive power. And the oppressors, identified here only as the self-confident and the proud, have the power of shame and mock the petitioners. Lacking both dignity and power of their own, the petitioners turn to the one who wields all power and who can be expected to exercise it on their behalf. Perhaps they simply want God to end the mockery. Maybe they want God to end the suffering that has merited the shame in the first place. We don't know. What we do know is that they await God's action, trusting that God to be the merciful master and mistress that God is. Let us pray. O God of the oppressed, you have revealed yourself to be a liberator of the enslaved, a balm to the downtrodden, and a friend of the lonely. Help us to trust you that to be that still. Free us from the crush of oppressive power, and teach us to wield power justly when we hold on. Amen. Our closing hymn is Jesus, Remember Me. Remember me.
blessings to you all.